Hello, my name is Walter and welcome to Walter's Afterthought. And a very special hello to you, my loyal fans, my loyal subscribers, my fellow Dungeon Masters. It is an afterthought for you today. We will be dissecting, sorry, dissecting? Dissecting uh, Samurai Jack, the finale. Uh, because I am such a big fan, I am such a nerd, and I am such a geek, I love this series and I don't want to see it go just yet. Uh, we will be dissecting the finale because... I think there is something to be talked about in this finale and we will be starting here where it's the part where uh, Samurai Jack is trying to find the inner Ashi to ask her to help in uh, finding off Ahu and her dark self so let's go so yeah this is just him traveling throughout uh, in the um, I like that his uh, I like that his eyes were like um, shiny there. See like it's uh, clear. Yeah, so he had to say I love you because you know in normal cliche I, I hate to say that but it is pretty cliche that he has to say that so that it motivates the being inside of her like you know her heart to kind of like combat it and hopefully like get out of it and she does. So that's something interesting to see and this is the part where I think you know jo Jack like finally admits that he can have a relationship with someone and you know he has been through this journey a long time and I I think that you know meeting such a skilled person such as, uh, such as Ashi and finding out that she could be changed and she could be you know she could be enlightened to the world outside her and we've seen that before in episode uh, episode five or six like that's when you know they saw the deer and uh, you know they were asking uh, you know the, the other sisters they were playing off of each other and saying like oh you know will the baby deer kill kill the mama deer and you know obviously uh, didn't because you know it's more of them you know the um, whole nature and you know what uh, parent will do to save their children a reflection most likely towards the, the mother and the daughter uh, so that's something interesting that I wanted to talk about uh, in here uh, okay so we'll we will be forwarding to the like the beginning on the third act nearing the last uh, act here so they finally uh, defeated Aku uh, he is finally traveled back in time, you know, they finally destroy a coup and uh, this is the part where I will be talking about the most because I want to see them embrace and then I will be talking about it more. Okay, so yep she felt him leave me so uh, that line is a clear giveaway to uh, like the ending so I will be talking more about this I'll be talking uh, I'll be dis dissecting this a little bit more because um, when she said she felt him leave her it just meant the darkness leaving her as well but per the time continuum uh, laws of physics you know it states that when you defeat something that created something else you will lose that something else as well so let's say you know this bottle cap created this correction tape so if I throw this bottle cap away this cannot exist anymore in the timeline so this disappears and um, I know that's nerdy but Again, Gendy understands that he has nerdy audiences as well, so that's why he had to do that ending. But you can always theorize that there may be an alternate ending and you know, maybe they get to live happily ever after. But I much prefer this ending here because this shows Jack's, um, this shows Jack's dilemma and his humanity, you know, because throughout these years, he has been fighting all along he hasn't had a perfect relationship you know he has had some side relationships you know friends the talking dogs the blind archers the woolies etc you know he has had those type of relationships but he has never had a love relationship 
meaning that he has never had a girlfriend. The closest was the you know the you know a lot of people joke about the about the being of um, was it like Alexandria or something like that where Aku pretended to be uh, a woman and you know uh, kind of. Uh, vexed him and you know kind of tricked him into leading her into a time portal where he destroyed it so that's something interesting that went into that discussion as well because that is kind of a reflection here it's not uh it's not a deep anal analysis into his psychosis but it's more of the fact that he did not have too many girl partners in his life and so him having a girl partner really means something important to him and he wanted to keep Ashi around and that's something that is throughout uh, this series so I will be forwarding to the ending and I know some of you will be very sad to see this so I'm gonna advise you to click out maybe and uh, please uh, do not watch the scene if you are very sensitive to the scene because I'm really gonna dissect this scene because it bears dissecting. Uh, okay, so this is the scene. Okay, I'm not gonna show it because I know some people really want to watch this. So uh, this is the scene where uh, Jack loses Ashi and you can really see the pain around his eyes here. This is pure agony right here like on his eyes wherever I'm pointing at my physics is bad so this general area here really shows the agony and I really applaud uh, Gandhi for doing this uh, this art here uh, and I'm gonna forward a little bit more because uh, yeah this is the part where you know I kind of you know I kind of sing the Boulevard of Broken Dreams by uh, Green Day but this is really beautiful by the way uh, and this is just him walking alone to process to grieve to maybe understand what is happening because you know he is a samurai he's a feudal uh, samurai he probably doesn't understand the, 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 the time continuum but he probably understands that if there is no Aku there is no Ashi so that is the, the, the bar that he has to overcome and he finally does when he sees the um, when he sees this the whole yeah when he sees this the whole um, ladybug thing because that is the connection to Ashi that he needs to finally let go of her to finally say okay maybe our time together was short but I appreciated her being with me and I appreciated someone having to help me defeat a Finally, he has had the Scotsman before, but the Scotsman never really could help him fight off Aku in the proper way he wanted to. Uh, he has had a hand in maybe you know a hand in maybe like throwing off Aku in a way, uh, but never really like landing a blow to Aku, and this time. Uh, Ashi has and you know I think Jack is very appreciative and he is very excited to have someone through his journey because he has never had that so that's something interesting that maybe uh, we should look at more and of course I want to really talk about this last scene because this is really really beautiful and of course it's under the cherry blossom tree in which uh, Jack talked about when he was showing Ashi uh, that you know uh, Aku has destroyed the land and all that so that is very interesting and of course the whole uh, classic uh, beam of light onto the hero thing is very is very warranted and I'm sorry I'm burping a lot I just ate sorry about that uh, but yeah it's very intimate it's very personal it's very poignant for me and the reason I cried is because I I legitimately grew up with this series and I, I remember saying oh why didn't this series end and you know I was always asking that and I read up on Gandhi and he said you know what I've just felt 
a burnout during the series and you know there were so many ideas there were so many plot lines he could do that he just wanted to take a break and I fully understand that I really fully understand that and I'm really happy that he decided to come back because you know we had a Samurai Jack um, movie planned for us uh, and you know it became you know it was delayed you know again they didn't know where to do it and all of that and um, you know it was never made uh, and finally after you know his two total Transylvania stories and you know of course reddit and tumblr and twitter and all of that you know he finally decided to say okay since the fans really wanted and I feel a burning a passion again of doing this kind of animation this kind of like anime animation I will do it and you know picked up the pen he did it again he did it more computer of course you can notice some of it it's more computer the background is more computer but you can definitely see a little bit of a, the hand drawn and like the shading and all that that, that is definitely a hand drawn thing and that is definitely a, an artboard thing to do um, I will say this as well I will say that this series really wrapped up nicely for me I personally didn't mind the whole Jack and Ashi kissing thing. I really thought that was just more of a side pot than not. Uh, and it showed that it did. And I, I really think that it doesn't hinder the plot in any way. It's just more of, you know what, Jack has got this girl and he decides that he really likes her because, you know, he has never had this feeling before of someone being close to him so that's really interesting of course the opposite sex i mean um so yeah that's something interesting to look into when we are always talking about samurai jack and um you know a lot of people are saying oh you know we can do it differently i mean you know to saving ashi and all of that but i think if you leave it at the part of not save Mashi. I think it's even more heartbreaking and more poignant to look into because he's gonna be alone. Like I definitely think you know he's not gonna find anyone new. I don't think he's going to, and I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna validate those stories about maybe a season six possible season six coming in. I don't believe that for one bit because Gandhi has already said he's already you know he's already canonized that he will only be doing these 10 episodes so this is it this is bar none this is the finale we go on and, and I'm so happy because we have finally a way to say goodbye and I would just like to uh, you know, ask you guys to bear with me for a few moments and saying goodbye to uh, Samurai Jack. Um, I will miss you, Samurai Jack, uh, because you have been so much part of my childhood, and I'm almost getting teared up here again. Uh, you have been so much been part of my childhood, and I, I'm so glad you came back. And. I really want to say thank you for this journey. Thank you, Gandhi Tartakovsky. Thank you, Adult Swim. Thank you, Tsunami. For all of this, all of this to happen. Like, this is just the lightning in a bottle. Once more. <coughs> Perfection. Perfection. Like, you know, we were all worried for Samurai Jack because there's been so many off reboots like Teen Titans Go, Powerpuff Girls Go. But this got the original writer back and he's like, no, I'm going to do this my way and it's my way or the highway, you know, no pun intended, but it's like, yeah, it makes sense because, you know, this is and has always been on his mind to do, but he just wanted more time to play around with those ideas and uh, it's fitting. That we leave on this uh, this whole image right here because I I really love the art style of the series. I know I go on and on in a few episodes, but I just can't help but gush over the art that goes on to, in the series. And I you know I wish I was as good as an artist, but I can't draw for shit. So 
I really appreciate it and this is the only way I can pay homage to, I can pay like respect to and I just really want to say thank you and we will miss you so much everyone. we will miss you